Good morning, friends. By now you may have heard of these Asian giant hornets, also known as murder hornets, that have made their intrusion into the United States by way of Washington State, the same state where coronavirus emerged. And in a New York Post article, I read that some sci scientists, biologists, are saying two to three years before this murder hornet arrives on the East Coast, and honeybee populations are at the greatest risk. These two-inch bugs can penetrate through beekeepers' suits. They de decapitate the heads off honeybee hives and can wipe out a colony, just a few Murder hornets can wipe out an entire honeybee hive within hours. 50 people a year die in Japan because of this hornet. That's right, 50 people die a year because multiple stings on a human, even if they're not allergic, the neurotoxin is that potent. Now, I'm going to read something here today. It piqued my interest about the book of Revelations in the Bible. And although... These hornets don't look like locusts or grasshoppers per se. Stay with me here, friends, for a few minutes while I just read Revelations 9 for you guys. And the fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw a star fallen from heaven to earth, and he was given the key of the shaft of the bottomless pit. He opened the shaft of the bottomless pit, and from the shaft rose like the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened with the smoke from the shaft. Then from the smoke came locusts on the earth, and they were given power like the power of the scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any green growth or any tree, but only those of mankind who have not the seal of God upon their foreheads they were allowed to torture them for five months, but not to kill them. And their torture was like the torture of a scorpion when it stings a man. And in those days, men will seek death and will not find it. They will long to die and death will fly from them. In appearance, the locusts were like horses arrayed for battle. On their heads were what looked like crowns of gold. Their faces were like human faces their hair like women's hair, and their teeth like lion's teeth. They had scales like iron breastplates, and the noise of their wings was like the noise of many chariots with horses rushing into battle. They have tails like scorpions, and stings, and the power of hurting men for five months lies in their tails. They have as king over them the angel of the bottomless pit. His name is Hebrew, is Abaddon, and in Greek he is called Apollyon. Abaddon and Apollyon, friends, both mean destroyer or place of destruction. If a scourge like this wipes out our pollinators, post your comments below. Peace, everybody.